guys, I have a haul for you today. I went to Ulta um, to get a couple things and of course wound up purchasing a few other things. Um, there isn't a Sephora near me where I am right now and I really want to try the new Marc Jacobs uh, Honey Perfume. Um, it is a Sephora exclusive as far as I've read. Um, but I think I'll wait until I get the 20% um, Sephora coupon or the Christmas coupon that they send out to VIB members. Uh, because I did become a VIB a couple weeks ago. But in the meantime, there was a perfume I wanted to see, two perfumes I wanted to see if they had that were limited edition summer perfumes. And I wanted to pick up one of these. It's the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I did get the tube version, but it is like half the size, and I don't think it's going to last very long, so it is kind of a large, inconvenient tub, but this stuff is amazing, so it'll just have to do. And then the perfume that I was, the two perfumes that I was looking for was the Marc Jacobs Sunshine and the Burberry Summer. They did have two Marc Jacobs um, Sunshines left, but I put it on and kind of walked around for a while, and I do have the original Daisy and the Dot. And the Sunshine just, it smells very similar to the Dot to me. So, sure, the bottle's cute, but that's not worth spending the money on if it smells similar. So, I do have. The Burberry Brit, just regular perfume that I do like a lot. Like, I didn't really start wearing perfume that often until a year or so ago. But that was with the first one I bought, and I typically wear that one in the wintertime. But, so, I smelled this one. And I really liked it. It was different. It wasn't like any other perfumes that I have. So they only had the tester out. So I asked the sales girl to go look. And um, they only had one more left. So I did buy it. Of course, the bottle is amazing because it's pink. But it's more of fruity to me than a floral. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not good at reading scents. So I guess you'd have to look it up if you really wanted to know. But the back of the bottle has the Burberry plaid, I guess. And then the front just says Burberry Summer. So I was excited to get the last one of those. And then I predominantly use Origins skincare. But the one thing I wish they made was wipes. Because it's just convenient. Um, so I've heard a lot about these. I was kind of stuck between trying these and the tea tree oil wipes, but I didn't really care for the smell of the tea tree oil scent. Um, so I was looking at the the front of Ulta, right where they check out where they have all the little travel things, and they have a travel size of these um, with 15, and I think the full size package has, I want to say 30. Um, I did just use one, and I did really like it. They don't smell really bad, it doesn't hang around, um, 
So I think I might try these for a couple more days and make sure they don't break me out and then go back and get the um, full size for when I'm feeling too lazy and don't want to do the whole toning, cleansing, whole thing. Anyways, um, then I got the Body Shop Lip Butter in Mango. I really have been into mango lately. And then I was walking just up and down the aisles. And I don't have anything that's Too Faced. Um, but this was a new mascara that they had. Um, so I decided to try it. And I'm kind of a sucker for packaging, so... <laughs> the thing that caught my eye was the fact that it's kind of like a... It's not hot pink, but it's like a pastel metallic pink tube, and it's metal and fairly heavy. Like, it feels like a high-end mascara tube. Like, the YSL one that I have is metal and the uh, Chanel one. Um, it's called Too Faced... Better than sex. Not entirely sure why you call a mascara that, but whatever. Um, I haven't tried it yet. You'll we'll see if it actually does what it's supposed to do. Um, this is what the brush looks like. It's a rather big brush with different length plastic bristles and then as you can see it's more of a it's not curved but the bristles are it's not a straight I don't know how to explain it you can see the shape um, so we'll see how that works out um, I think my most favorite makeup product is mascara because I have a lot open. I'm not good. I don't throw them away every six months. Um, or three months, actually. Isn't that when you're supposed to throw them away? But I don't... You know, I pay attention if they start to smell funky, then obviously I throw them away or dry up, but... I've had drug mascaras go bad, but I really haven't had any more expensive mascaras go bad. Knock on wood. Um, this was in my clearance section. I just picked it up because you can never have enough hand sanitizer and it's supposed to be a moisturizing hand sanitizer. It's Crabtree and Evelyn pomegranate. So it does smell really good so I'll either stick that in my car or in my purse. And then this was a free sample with purchase. I've never tried anything by um, Healthy Sexy Hair. This is Soy Renewal Argan Oil. Um, I might throw it in my purse or something. I don't know. So that was all I have for you today. So thanks for watching. Bye.